Thank you all for coming out. My name is Christian Haas, and I'm speaking on behalf of Awake Pinellas as a student at USF St. Pete and as a proud resident of the city of St. Petersburg. Not only is this another beautiful day in St. Pete, today is especially significant because we are joined by a coalition of residents who have come together to make their voices heard. Today we are officially not launching the People's Budget Review. It's a grassroots campaign created to give those who live and work in St. Pete a voice in the city's budgeting process. What's often overlooked is the fact that the largest impacts our state and local governments have are through the allocation of our tax dollars. And every year, only a fraction of a percent of the people in St. Pete have any say in how those tax dollars are allocated. Our goal is simple. Our goal is to change that. I studied leadership and political science at USF St. Pete and left there with what I thought to be a pretty powerful realization. I realized that a great number of people think that their sole duty as a citizen in a representative democracy is to simply vote. Usually every four years. If you vote every two years, we call you a super voter. This became more troubling as I read more about the sacrifices made by the generations before mine. Sacrifices made so that they could rightfully assert their voice in the democratic process. I realize it's no longer sufficient to tune in every couple years, to pay some attention to well-polished political campaigns, and then cheer or gripe, mostly gripe, when things don't go our way. So today marks the beginning of a new type of community engagement, a new culture of citizen participation in the democratic process. The People's Budget Review aims to bring the budget to the people. We hope to give the citizens the opportunity to prioritize their community's needs. We hope to give them a chance to participate in the creation of a shared vision for our community moving forward. It is our right and arguably our duty to have our voices heard, to participate in the public sphere, to contribute to the marketplace of ideas, but to most importantly, commit to the challenging yet rewarding effort of self-governance. Ultimately, all we want is our city's allocations to reflect our community's shared values. So now it's my pleasure to announce our next speaker, Darren Rice is a longtime community activist, not only in St. Pete, but in the county and the state. She's an advocate for strong citizens' voice in government and is serving as the president of the League of Women Voters. So everybody, please welcome Ms. Darden Rice. Thank you, Christian. Um, as Christian said, I'm the president of the League of Women Voters of the St. Pete area. And we are here today because the People's Budget Review and our mission and goals and purpose here today totally aligns with the mission statement of the League of Women Voters. We are a nonpartisan, we are a nonpartisan political organization. We encourage informed and active participation in government. We work to increase understanding of major public policy issues, and we influence public policy through education and advocacy. And what we're really hoping for here today with the People's Budget Review is a creative exchange of ideas among the people of St. Petersburg. And what we hear from people from time and time again is the desire for a can-do positive attitude as our city and the citizens rebuild from the economic troubles of the past few years. And that is really our ultimate goal here today and with the launch of the 10,000 surveys for the People's Public excuse me, People's Budget Review. Our goal is to unite all neighborhoods and ignite the fire of citizen participation. What could be better for democracy? Now when you go to peoplesbudgetreview.com and fill out the survey, let me tell you something. You don't need a degree in econ economics or accounting to figure this out and to help out with our cause. All you need is common sense about what matters most to you. We will give you a summary of how the city is spending and managing our tax dollars. And then we will offer you a menu of decisions that you would make, just like you were speaking directly to, the, to our nine elected city officials. So I encourage you to fill out surveys today, go to peoplesbudgetreview.com, uh, join us in the, our effort, and thank you very much. I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Robin Wynn. Uh, Robin has been an employee in the, of the city in the wastewater department for 18 years. She is currently the chair of the city of the St. Petersburg chapter of the Florida Public Services Union, where Robin has had to deal with the city budget over the past several years in negotiations. She's one of our local experts, one of our hardest workers, and we're 
so fortunate to have her as a part of this launch. Here today. involved because this is your community. You know I'm always talking at work about unity and what I see here today is unity. Right. I worry about my grandchildren, my children, my friends at work. I worry about our jobs. If we'll have a job because they're doing so many budget cuts. I feel blessed today again to live in this city where people really care because if you didn't care you wouldn't be here today. Everybody, all our neighbors, young people, the small business owners that are here today. Everybody came here together today and it's because of a simple American dream. That all of us stand strong during good times and through the bad times. But only if we stay unified and work together, let's be an example for the whole country. Because if we do this here in this city, it'll work in other cities. That's right. Yes. So spread the word. Get your family, friends, and co-workers together. Fill out this survey here. It only takes about five minutes of your time. And if we do this, nothing can stop us. As simple as that. And thank you. Bye. Bye. 